Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and Mr. Unnamed here, back at my desert base. The UNI Planet Fall. And up here we have my station, a good 46 kilometers out. So, let's say you want to get off planet in a hurry, but you don't have time to go out, build a hydrogen tank, you don't have time to farm hydrogen, or build the thrusters or anything like that, you just need to go and get out as fast as possible. Well, with this setup, hopefully you can. You have four large atmospheric thrusters, four regular ion thrusters, all pointed straight down at the planet's surface, you pointed straight up in the air, and hopefully, with this setup, you should be able to breach the atmosphere. Now, I haven't tested it, I just finished building it. It's ugly, it's simplistic, but with any bit of luck, it's going to work. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, give this disaster waiting to happen a try. Power usage, I'm already overloaded. It's probably not a very good thing, but, you know. Cockpit view. Nothing to see, really. Not yet. And I'm hoping that the higher I climb, and the less these atmosphere thrusters can push, the more the ion thrusters can push. Because remember, there's a limit to just how effective these engines are. And there's like maybe a 10, 15 kilometer barrier where neither engine works very well. And I'm hoping that because I have more, maybe that plus my momentum will carry me up and out. But we're just going to have to try and see how that goes. Now, this build is wonky as all hell because of how the cockpit is oriented. But, uh, who knows? I... Bleh, I may actually get lucky and, uh... This might actually work. Okay, right about here is when the atmospheric thrusters stop working very well. And I'm hoping that the ion thrusters... Yep, they just cut out. I'm hoping that the ion thrusters are going to carry me through. So far, so good. I haven't been losing speed. Actual gravity going down. It seems that it's still going. The sound of the ion thrusters revving up, playing over this. That's a good sign. There we go, ion thrusters are at full power right now. Still going strong, still going strong. We're at half actual gravity. My game is lagging quite a bit right now. Even though I'm getting 30 frames a second, supposedly the simulation speed I suppose is uh, going down. Hopefully once I'm far enough away it'll catch back up and I can actually... There we go. Looks like it just caught back up. Okay. Speed still going strong. Drifting a little bit here and there, but... It's okay. Now, one thing I did not put on here are forward facing ion thrusters. So, that could be bad. So, I think at the last second, 
I'll point this away from my station and then bail, hopefully, avoiding a massive collision. Yeah, that's... I'm almost surprised at how well that worked. almost pushed T, which would have ejected me out of the cockpit, and I would have been plummeting back to the ground, with this thing hurtling itself on a collision course with my station up here. Not a good time. Oh, I really need a new computer. This processing speed is terrible. All things considered, though, this is a resounding success. I mean, this is many magnitudes cheaper to build than my rocket boosters, which are extremely dangerous to use. This thing, once I perfect it a little bit, maybe give it a little bit more power so it doesn't overload as soon as you start using it. Who knows? It could be one of the most effective ways to get off planet there is. At least until the devs catch on and nerf it. Because I got a feeling they really, really want you to use those hydrogen engines. And this is something I've been thinking about for a little while, because all that hydrogen stuff, it's expensive, it's time-consuming. This, you know, thrusters, batteries, they're pretty cheap to come by. You know, you don't really need a whole lot of armor blocks, you just need a cockpit and some gyroscopes to slap on there. I just put a couple of... Um, cargo containers, because what what the hell, you're gonna go up there uh, empty-handed? No, you're gonna have something on you. You're gonna have guns, maybe some materials you slapped in there so you could help build something out here. Okay, here we go. About 2.5 thousand meters away, two and a half kilometers. I'm at 102 meters a second. My sim speed is probably close to one third of what it was before. So that's kind of not good. Hopefully, the further away from the planet I get, the more it'll stabilize, but. Ah, I don't know. Definitely coming up to the station quickly. Can't really tell how close I am. Okay, yeah, I can kind of see it. So I'm going to wait till I get to about a thousand meters before I start trying to turn this thing around. Once I do that, I should slow down enough to make a complete stop and prevent myself from ramming heads, uh, headlong into the side of the building. Let's just orient myself properly. Coming in faster and faster. Come on, 1,000 meters.
1.5. This should be going a lot faster. I'm going 102 meters a second. Those uh, triple digits down there should be closing in a lot faster. Okay, here we go, here we go. Let's start turning myself around. Here we go. Just gonna throw myself into a bit of a spin. Okay. I did it. Something ain't like this. Hang on. Still drifting.
Alright, well, I'm gonna have to get out of here and reload my game, apparently. Because this shit is just ridiculous. But yeah, that's it, folks. You do not need the hydrogen engines to get off planet. You don't need any hydrogen whatsoever. You just need little space engineers know how. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.